الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له شهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. We start by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him and we seek His forgiveness and we seek His assistance. We seek refuge with Allah from the evil that resides within our own selves and from the bad consequences of our own deeds. Whomsoever Allah has guided, there is no one who could lead that person astray. Whomsoever Allah has left due to their own desire to be left, no one could guide them after Allah has abandoned them. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, we bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship besides Allah. Wahdahu la sharika la, he is unique in his oneness and has no partners. We further bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his last and final messenger. As to what follows, we have this idea that we're taught as a young kid in this country, in this continent, and in various other western countries is that when you go to school and you get good marks and you do really well in all of your things and you go to another high school and you go to university and college and get a business degree or a science degree or a doctorate degree and that is the meaning of success. Some places they teach you if you come here the streets are running with milk and money and it's all about having a big house and a big car and Great life, and that's success. Some people. some people, if you play a if you dribble a basketball around a circle, behind your shoulders, and up around your back, and around your legs, that's success to some people. Some people, if you throw people around a wrestling ring, that's success. To own a multi-million dollar business. But what happens when that doesn't go the way you want it to go? What happens when you go to school all these years? Ten years. 11 years, 12 years, elementary school, to high school, middle school, all of it's done, all the way through university, four years, but what happens when it doesn't quite go the way you want it to go? What happens when you play a sport up until a certain level and the game starts, like this hockey player that I read about years ago, he played all the way to university, actually high school, and a sport, or university, Boston College. He went out on the ice and got hit and got paralyzed. What happens when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every day we hear it in the Adhan, when we hear the people saying, Hayya ala al-falah, do we really understand the meaning of that? Hayya ala al-falah. Not Hayya ala falah. Hayya ala al-falah. Al-falah. The success. So all of these things are successes in a small way in the dunya. Sure, if you do these things, inshallah, Allah will bless you and open the way for you. And I'm not saying you should choose one or the other, but I'm saying put it in a, in a perspective of what is success. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said to us after we say, أَعْرُمُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Yes, the business person can be successful. Yes, the person who goes to school and gets degrees can be successful. Yes, the basketball player can be successful, the wrestler, the doctor. All these things can be successful, but these are all successes. Successes. Various forms of a smaller thing. But when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's saying it already. See, the basketball player and all the other people that I mentioned, they have to kind of work for it and hope to be successful. Allah is saying that these believers, المؤمنون, are successful already. Yes, there are things they have to do, but they've already been given that success because Allah has said that about them. As in anything, when you hear about a group of people and they are successful, you want to emulate them, study them, or emulate them, I should say, and study them 
focus on them. You know, we had people who studied millionaires. Napoleon Hill studied millionaires and wondered what is it that made them millionaires. It, made, it became his life to do that. Other people go around and they study various athletes and they study all these different people because they want to know what makes them do the things that they do. But well, al-falah, the believers, al-mu'minun, those who are successful, it should be our life's purpose to study them and to imitate them and to emulate them in order that we follow in accordance with what Allah has revealed in the Quran and the Sunnah of His Messenger, And this should be something that we focus on, along with the other things. That we don't ignore things, that can send in the dunya, but we understand that قَدْ أَفْلَحَ That the two rakat before Fajr, for example, is better than the entire world and everything in it. So if someone makes a billion dollars, or five hundred million dollars, or two billion, or twenty billion, your rakatain, Abu Fajr, خَيْرُ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا خَيْرُ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا Better than the dunya and everything that's in it. So when we're successful, know that Allah has defined that a certain way, and may Allah make us from amongst those people. إن الله ملائكته يصلون معنا من إياه والذي معنا نصلي عليه ونصلي متسلما الله صلى على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صلي تعالى إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما ضرب تعالى إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين بالحمد والجيد قوموا إلى صلاتكم بالحمد